Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell, my voice is still gone, but it's okay because I'm really impatient and I want to look at this chunk that I have. Like the box can't handle this anymore, so I have to store them. But yeah, today we are gonna store my and hype in Jake collection. Yay! I'm so excited, you guys. Before we get into the actual storing, I will go ahead and tell you guys like supply stuff. I keep my Jake collection in the Beyond D A5 wide binder. I bought the binder itself and the sleeves through G Market. It, and I sent it to my Korean address, but there are some like if you live in like the US um, domestic sites that sell them too I'll also leave that down below and then basically I decoed this Polko I like glue tape a sleeve onto the front cover and I just slipped it in because I really like the look of like the A5 Like the regular A5 and how it has like the deco pocket thing But the A5Y did not have that so I decided to DIY it and so far it's been pretty good So and then I double sleeve my J collection because I'm obsessed with it <laughs> It's the only collection and I double sleeve. I use the Mandu Deco premium photo card sleeves, the purple one for the inner sleeve, and then the pink one for the outer sleeve. They are so high quality. And as you can see, I bought like three packs of 50 for each. And like after I sleeved all my cards, this is what I'm left with. So I need to go and restock on these because they're seriously so high quality. I cannot recommend enough. And then let me know if you guys have any questions about like where I got stuff or like how I did stuff. Let's just get to storing. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. This is my cover page. I just printed this from Pinterest and on the inner cover here Since like I didn't like the look of the glue tape on the back I like glued another sleeve and then I put Jake's I think music plant pop from manifesto era because I really love this pop So I put it here because there's no space in my manifesto section. That was a long ramble, but let's just get started I organized it by era order. But yeah, this is my border day one page I'm kind of mad because I was supposed to finish this collection like this whole page I only needed this last on card but it arrived to me so damaged that I can't even like look at it that is so unfortunate wait let me rearrange everything <laughs> do I like this or would this be better or this wait I kind of like this I'm like weird like that where I'm like like some people just put it in like the order of what the template tells them to but like I need it to be all visually like pleasing to me oh my god I'm so mad I this should have been completed whatever it's okay let's move on so that was my album card and then I try to have like at least like I call it like a special page per era oh my god not my google calendar please but anyways I try to have like a special page per era and like the special page will like include like non-album cards like pods and stuff I just have this card I think it is is you round one card I think I plan to have it here as you can probably tell already I don't have like like I don't write like what the card is supposed to be because I don't like the look of it in my binder so like I just try to memorize everything <laughs> and like I don't have that many collections so it's like honestly just my Jake and EXO collection that I have to like memorize per se so it's not that big of a deal yeah. That's cute. Anyways, we have Unconnect pages. These are all the Unconnect cards. It takes up two pages. I know I could just like put them on the back, but I really like seeing the backs of cards. I forgot how I wanted to do this. I think I wanted the selfie card first and then, okay, wait. I don't like putting them in order either. I know they have numbers and stuff, but like it just needs to be visually appealing to me. I'm really weird with how I organize these. I don't know what I'm doing to be honest. Um, this one. Let's see if I hate that. This will be for the next page. Do I like that? I kind of don't like that. What about this? Okay, that looked okay in my head. I will probably go back and change all of these. So <laughs> it is okay. I'm really excited to get all these fillers back though because I made so many and like all of them like went into this collection. So this card is so cute by the way. Like, ugh gagged. I really love their tour card slash concert card. I don't know. I think they're so cute. Okay, that's the first page. I think it'd be kind of cute if I did a spread, but I kind of- I don't hate spreads, but I prefer not to have them, so... The backs are so cute! Now for this page, I'm gonna put the polos on either end, like the... this? Wait, I like that. Okay, sleigh. Oh, I did not put sleeves in this page. I added that page last minute because I realized and connect would take out two pages in my binder. So I just decided not to sleeve them. 
At first, I wanted to store like only my top six favorite cards, but then I got the cards in a set and I'm just like, I kind of want to store them all. They're so cute. So yeah. Oh my god, the back. So cute. Next page, if I remember correctly, it is Border Carnival. Yes. Okay, Border Carnival. I am so excited because I bought Jake's entire Border Carnival set from a K Twit seller and it was such a good price. It was like $16 per member. Like what? <laughs> Insane. So this first page, I want to put concept and selfie let me get the lentis out and the group cards because that also goes on the other page okay so i want it like concept on the bottom and then like selfie on top and then up down hype is that what i want to do guys honestly label your cards <laughs> okay i'm gonna do up down hype it depends on what lucky draws i wanted to collect for this era i'm gonna double check on my ipad real quick because i want everything to line up no yeah up down hype okay let's do up down hype oh and if you're wondering the fillers are just literally so my school has like a lot of like extra card stock and I just stole a bunch and like I cut them up to size this is down hype and up oh my god full page cute the bags are so cute okay now let's go to the lenties and the group cards so I want lenties on top and the group cards on the bottom up down hype down wait no is this down wait a minute no i think this is hype yeah because this is his outfit and down version right yeah honestly i know people don't like group cards but i love a good group card i'll be honest with you i think it fills out a page very really nicely some people don't like it if it like replaces a selfie card in an album but like honestly guys look how cute the group cards are especially when they like match the concept of the version that is so cute okay and this is my special page i don't have anything for it but yeah oh my god border carnival album cards are done <laughs> they're so cute and then next is border hawk and i i only have two cards for this but they're exciting look the selfie cards, the solo jacket cards are so freaking cute. This is like literally my favorite. I'm gonna put it here and then here. And then I'll fill the rest with the concept album cards. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about is like my A5 binder. If you are thinking about moving to an A5 wide, do it. Maybe because I'm like a resident A4 binder hater, but A5 wides are so compact, I guess. Not like so compact as in like an A5, a regular A5 binder, but like, I don't know, it's so much easier to flip through. I think A5 wides are everything and more. Okay, next is Dimension Dilemma. Yes. Okay, this is the stack. I just need album cards. Wait, oh, this one. Okay, I'm done with his Dilemma album cards. Also, Dimension Dilemma has my favorite Jake album card of all time. And it's on the next page. Regular album cards and hollows are done. That's my favorite Jake album card of all time. He is so cute in this. I love like half troll cards. Love how this is like the entire card is red, right? That's already like troll enough. My favorite EXO card is also Seun's obsession card where he's like, his eyes are like rolled back. And then I also obviously love forehead Sue. That's like the tone of photo card that are my favorite. Like the half troll ones. Essentials. Where's the other? Is this one? Oh, I have all his essentials. But yeah, I love half troll cards. They are my favorite genre of photo card. And yeah, that's why I love this Jake card. It's like so red. <laughs> and it's so funny to me. Yeah, that's Dimension Dilemma album cards done. Oh my god, stop. Wait, I think we're completing Dimension Dilemma as a whole too with my special cards. Oh my god, wait, that's exciting. Okay, wait, this goes here, this goes here, 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 here. Oh my god, I'm completing Dimension Dilemma. Very exciting. Dimension Dilemma was actually very easy to collect, like even non-album cards or pop cards or lucky draws or whatever. But yeah, let me do the lucky draws first. Um, since I have my template pulled up on the side here, I will just tell you the stores. This is Soundwave round one. This is MTU, and then this is Power Station, and then these are the backs. I really like how they correspond to the album version, so it's easy for me to store because I just have to memorize what version goes where. I honestly, I don't think this is a popular opinion, but I hate the old Lucky Draw material where it's like an actual like PVC ass card. I know it's so thick for no reason. I really like the flimsy ones. My binder cannot handle these thickness. And then this one is his Yuzu round two. Yeah, round two. And then this one is the Weaver's, what is it called? Weaver's round two special gift. This will go in the middle and then this will go here. 
Oh my, the backs are so cute. Wait, I need to flip through this. I finished Dimension Dilemma, what? Next should be your NConnect Companion, which I also have the full set for. These are my NConnect Companion cards. I have not organized them. I want this card to be here, and then the selfie card, like that. Does that look good? That's better. Wait. No, I like the other one. Okay, I like it. I enjoy that. Slay. My stack of like fillers are slowly piling up and I'm so excited. I made so many and already like it was not enough for this collection. <laughs> Look at this stack, bro. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about for my A5 wide. Um, if you're the type of person who likes the backs of cards and like are concerned about how these pages are double-sided, like I kind of hesitated because I didn't like the idea of having double-sided pages because I felt like it'll like distort, or not distort, but like it'll be like hard to see the backs of the cards and I really love backs of cards. But honestly, you can't even tell. Like, look how clear that is. So yeah, if you're also in the same boat as me, you're concerned about not seeing the back, don't worry. Like, you can see it very clearly so and then this is clear like that unit card down here does that look good okay i like it cute okay next is dimension answer i have his full answer cards albums and then i have a few special cards so i really like dimension answer because it is in a it has like selfie and then polarized but since there's only four cards for albums i also got his ease you cards they're also selfie and polaroid so that's kind of everything to me so this page will be done Okay, my camera like shut off randomly. I don't know what that is, but anyways. <laughs> this is his Soundwave Lucky Draw, and then this is UMS. I don't think I really plan on where to put this, but I'm gonna put it here for now. That looks okay to me. And honestly, I don't have that many cards for this page anyways, so like, I'll fix it later. Cute! Next, we have Dimension Sun Co. Which I only have two cards for. It's just his solo jacket cards. What is this card called? I don't know. The blue one <laughs> goes here. This one goes here. And then I plan on putting UMS and Weavers Japan on the other corners. Or should it be like this? And then Weavers and UMS. I actually kind of like that better. Wait, was I right? Okay, yeah. Very cute. Okay. Next, oh my god, we're almost done, guys. This is for the merch cards. I'm just gonna put the Little Wishes here. I really like the backs of the Little Wishes cards. They're so cute to me. I'm gonna fill this in. Okay, next we have Manifesto Day 1. Okay, that is all for the standard page. Or regular version page. This was actually the last Manifesto card I needed. And I was trying to secure it on Instagram, but then I opened up my Kaddy package and literally a seller included it as a freebie. Like, what? So nice. Yay, cute. Okay, and then Engine version. I just need this card. For the most part, I like completed most of his album cards through my holes. They're like trades. Like, I think this was a trade and then a few were a trade and then the rest were literally my pulls like i kind of ate i also bought way too many manifesto albums from target that is done though okay now i call this like my weavers page oh my god this page this sleeve is dirty let me just replace this page really quickly because that honestly bothers me how i can't clean it now let me move everything out of this sleeve this is also side note one of my favorite jake album cards as well Okay, and then I'll remove this page. Perfect. Anyways, I call this page my Weavers page because I have all his Weavers tops except for the USA one because I don't really like it. So yeah, his Weavers album cards. Then this is Weavers Global. And then this is Weavers Japan. Do I like it like that? Do I like it like this? Okay, I like it like that. That's what I call my Weavers page because I have a dilemma with where to fit his Weavers cards because technically they are album cards. So I wanted to collect them obviously because I collect all his album cards. But like, I couldn't just have like, two cards on one page so decided to fill it up with all his weavers pods <laughs> or not all again i didn't really love the usa one so that's why i just didn't collect it 
cute i especially really like the weavers japan ones i think they're so cute especially this one again the m version cards are everything to me so yes that is done and then i have a page for lucky jaws wait i for some reason i thought i secured his mtu round one lucky jaw but i don't even have it marked on my template so i obviously didn't get it i don't know why i thought i did that is so weird okay well three cards are not here one card i need to secure apparently and then the other two Two are currently being trapped at Bai's warehouse. The ones that are currently trapped right now are his Soundwave round one and Power Station round two. This is his MTU round two, and then this is Soundwave round two. And then this one is Power Station round one. I think I wanted to put the round one cards um, on the top row because they correspond with the version. And then these, I don't even know. I kind of like it how it looks on the template, so I'll just put it like that. If anything, I'll change it later. I have one card to secure, and then I'll be done with Manifest, so. I really love the Lucky Draw material on this because it's like thin enough to be like a regular photo card. And my binder loves that, so. That was my Lucky Draw page. Now I'm moving on to Manifesto Tour. I'm so excited for this i already stored my trading pack cards because i actually got that sent to my regular address and then this i got this through etsy and it's basically just my concert ticket it's not like my real concert ticket but like i saw in hyphen on october 15th Houston's birthday in new york city I had such a great great time it's honestly one of the best concerts i've been to like literally top two and i wasn't even vip like if i was vip it would literally honestly been my favorite concert of all time but i have very exciting cards for this ah ta -da! it's his engine zone photo cards i have both his japanese one and the korean one. Oh my gosh this card is the card that launched my jade collection because at first i was casually collecting him just like very casually if i pull him i keep it if i want to trade for something and i find it like very casually and then i saw this card come out and i was like i need it and so i started a new k addy batch and it just kind of spiraled from there so i love this card so freaking much it is seriously one of my favorite j cards of all time and then this is this japanese one very surprisingly easy to find actually ah so cute only three more pages left okay next is sadame now for sadame i haven't really planned out what i'm doing honestly because they're all selfie cards so i definitely want all like the same versions like on the top um, in the same row i mean some of them will go on the other page weaver's japan and then standard and then solo jacket okay yms and then standard solo jacket no this one this is solo jacket and then i'll put the limited cards on the next page i guess oh my god cute wait do i want to kind of the hearts to you know okay wait i like that nice 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 kind of sickening how they made all of the saname cards selfie cards like what happened to the two or four selfie cards and then the rest being concept cards like guys you guys are making this so hard for me i was gonna collect them all anyways but like come on Every time I see like a card from this concept, I think of Subway Surfers and how they like, they love Jake so much, bro. They keep posting about him and it's honestly kind of weird. <laughs> Cute. Okay, and then I will put the limited card A and then limited B and then other lucky draw here. Lucky draw and then a concept card. I have another clear card that I can put to fill in the space. Hold on. I did not put this one out. Do I want the concepts on the side and the lucky draws in the middle? Okay, yeah, I like that better. Let me just see this real quick. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I try not to collect non-album for Japanese releases because it's just so hard and expensive But I found the Lucky Draws for such a good price and like I couldn't pass it up so And also I need another page to fit the limited cards so Cute, that's Sadame done Wait, instead of having this clear card here I am going to replace it with a very exciting card that I forgot I had Okay, so I like impulsively bought this card because Like the photos came out on my timeline on Twitter and I I was like that is literally the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life i really couldn't pass it up you guys it's literally so cute like you literally can't tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen so i think i'm gonna put it here and like it kind of matches so you know 
cute. Sorry, clear card. Okay, so now that I have that fixed, this is the last page. Guys, I'm kind of concerned because my binder is kind of full and <laughs> okay, whatever, it's fine. Last page is his birthday merch. So cute. So this is from his photo garland thing and then this is from his bracelet. I'm gonna put the message ones on the bottom like that and then these ones on top. Perfect. Okay, I like that. I love his entire birthday collection because the star motif like hello it literally has a star on his bracelet too also like not to be in xl but like my bias is sehun right in xo and my bias in, in hyphen is obviously jake and sehun's favorite color is orange so having jake's birthday color be orange mm, did it for me for real <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that is done. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, now I have officially stored everything. Let me see how freaking thick this is. Oh my god, I should have bought another A5 wide. I might send another one to my k But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching me store like basically my entire Jade collection. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything you want to just talk about collecting and stuff, feel free to leave a comment. And yeah, thank you so much. Bye.